up, up. Can it be? Whoa. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and... Might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Okay. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Okay. Your connection to ancient magic unlocked talents. You'll receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend in the talents menu in your field guides. Ah. You earn start talent points starting at level 5. You may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells to increase your combat power. Stealth and more. Choose wisely. Talent points may be only spent once, so the number of talents you acquire will be limited. For a turn here, to often see what new and powerful talents await you. Oh, so we've got nine to spend. Huh. Whoa. <laughs> That's sick. Whoa. That is awesome. Okay, so I'm going for him, obviously. That one. And that one. Stealth. 100% getting that. Yes. Core. New spell set is added. Hold RT and, and tap. Enter to unlock spell sets. Okay. Yep. Mm hmm. Well, here's your great effect. Yes, please. Ch 
sure. Nice. That's sick. Okay. Let's get out of here. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? What are you up to now? Oh, good. That's helpful. So we can travel here anytime I like. Good. Very, very good. This place is crazy. Ah, it's one of these. To go invisible, see him. <laughs> Good. Step put that back like that. Never. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies well. I suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Huh. Jack Door's rest. Good. Awesome. You need to learn De Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Okay, whoa. Rebellion. Sleeping Dragon Statue. Hogwarts motto Draco Dormian's Numquian. Till Dandis means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Fortunately, this particular sleeping dragon is made of stone and will never awaken. It may be tickled to absolutely no effect. Away from me. So where does this actually put me? Rebellion. Urn of Ashes. The particular urn is ruined. Rumored to have once borne the inscription Pioneer in Dragon Taming. Should not have started with the Hungarian Haunt. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Um. Quest. Need this one. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire maxima, a maxima and endurance potions. Use them simultaneously. Okay. Do I have that? I have one Juris. Um, focus potion. Maxima, I haven't quite got yet. Go to flying class. Yes. Where is that? Get me there right now. He either go flying on the blue on the broom or one of the creatures. Oh, I can't wait, this will be so good. 
I have to wait to predate I know. There you go. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. <laughs> up, up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Got it. Good. <laughs> now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one oh, piece. This will take some getting used to. Wish I had my own broom. Excellent. Oh, that's so cool. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Oh, this is just Made incredible. It. Oh, did anyone else see that? Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Yeah. Totally forgot about that. Oh my god, oh, this is amazing. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> this ha. is so good. I've got this. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Yeah, when we get in trouble. Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Okay. 
Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> nice to get above it all, isn't it? <laughs> Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Yeah, Here's something on, handy man. to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Room trolls, speed burst, holes, white bead. There's uh -huh. the famous bridge. Now that's Think more of like all it. the magic hole. You sure you're not part of the Griff? And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. I'm loving this game. It's awesome. Well, already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, sti I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Uh, but mm. perhaps, but we did get in trouble, and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Sick. Unclosed rewards available on the chat. Okay. Ah. Sick. Uh. Ha. Sick. Okay. That looks quite sick, actually. Okay, so I want to I've go... I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Okay. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Okay. 
Well, first things first. Uh, I very much want to go get a broom or something. So where did he say it was? It's potions. Sporting needs. Square. Honey jukes. Brood and peck. Smelling stress emporium. Okay. Magic neat. Where is it? There he is. And there's a fast travel point right next to it. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? No. Right, let's go see the rooms. Ah, new face! Wonderful! Ooh. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Okay. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? How expensive? Oh, I can get one. Oh. That item Preview. is of the highest quality. Ooh. Okay. That item is of the highest quality. That looks quite sick. That item is of the highest quality. Saying that looks also looks nice. Okay. That item is of the highest quality. Comfortable speedy room. That item is of the highest quality. I don't I do look like the like that looks very good. Yeah. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Yeah. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. 
The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beat okay. Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Okay, so that's fast travel. To there. Okay. So how do I use it? Okay. How do I do I have to pick it? Ah, that's how. Oh my god. It's incredible. Hey you, Gryffindor. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, right. why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Okay. That. Did it. Awesome. <laughs> uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh. Fine. You won. Oh, 
Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. There you are. Okay. The cross one's duelist to beat. <laughs> Oh, I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. <laughs>